I feel good. No, 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 because I've had a good sleep now. No, 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 no. Do you get enough sleep? Are you ever tired? Do you ever lack energy? Do you think you need more sleep? And how much sleep do we actually need? And it's a really interesting and controversial topic because there's some people have a very strong opinion. You must have eight hours. You must have 10 hours. Some people will say to you, I only get four hours and I've always got a stack of energy. And there's other people who say I get 10 hours every night and I'm still really tired. So first question, could it be a personal thing? And more than you should sleep this number of hours, what about how do you feel? If you've got a stack of energy, if you're performing at your best, if you love what you see in the mirror and the way your body feels, and you're getting the results that you want from your eating, sleeping, exercise, the way you live your life, obviously you don't need to worry about anything. Everything's working great. If you don't have a stack of energy, if you're not performing at your best, if you don't love what you see in the mirror and the way your body feels to touch, and you're not getting the results that you want from your eating, sleeping, exercise, the way you live your life program, then what changes do you need to make? And one of those could be sleep, of course. But here's a better question. What are you doing to make sure that you have a great sleep? And it's interesting because a lot of people say they go to bed and they're in bed for 10 hours, but they toss and turn. So they, or they wake up a lot of times during the night or they've got to pee a lot during the night, so they're up and down. Uh, there are other people who go to bed, fall asleep deeply, in seconds, they're only there for three, four, five hours, they get up and they're fully refreshed and they're ready to go again. So could it also be to do with the quality of your sleep, not how long you're in bed for? And obviously there's lots of other reasons that people are in bed for, not just sleeping. So one of the great questions that I always ask is, what are you doing to make sure your body's ready to go to sleep? And if you're really fit and if you're really strong and if you're tired, because your hormonal system will tell you that you're tired, uh, obviously the body needs to have sleep. It's when we regenerate, we recuperate, we rebuild muscle cells, brain cells. The body needs to sleep. Obviously, if you don't sleep, your life can be pretty screwed up. Uh, you'll, and it's, it's an element of, of, of uh, healthy, fit and strong that a lot of people don't talk about and how important it is. But is it possible that if you're fit and strong, your body will go to sleep or tell you to go to sleep when you're tired and it'll wake you up when you're not tired anymore. And that's how I love to live my life. It's one of the reasons I would love everybody to be financially free, to have a career or business that you love where you can choose your own hours so that you're not controlled by an alarm clock, you're not controlled by the sun. A lot of people say you should wake up when the sun comes up and you should go sleeping when the sun goes down. Well, that might not suit your lifestyle and is it possible that if you've got a healthy, fit, strong body, it will adapt to all of those things? So your hormonal system will say, go to sleep. If you're really tired, uh, you'll go to sleep. Unless you're really stressed, the body can't go to sleep in uh, when it's full of epinephrine, adrenaline, cortisol, because you're stressed. That's why you toss and turn when you go to bed. So what's the best way to get rid of stress? Get puffed, lift heavy. Now, a lot of people will say you shouldn't exercise before you go to bed because you'd be wide awake. But again, is it possible that if your body is healthy, fit and strong, and you're feeling a bit stressed, that now your body will say, okay, get rid of the stress and we can go to sleep. So one of the things that I always do if I've had a tough day, a hard day, a challenging day, I've got a brain that's full of stuff. And that's, that's often in my life. I go, I've, I've done all my stuff for the day. I want to go to bed, but my brain's still on overload. Now, it might be because it's creating, but it might be because I've had a really tough day. So I'll go punch the bag. Most importantly, punching, kicking. You can get puffed in all sorts of ways, but the fight and flight system, the cortisol, epinephrine, uh, adrenaline, I've got to disperse the stress system, is the 10 second high intensity system, fight or flight. Now flighting is running and sprinting will work for 10 seconds if you want to get rid of stress. But ultimately the, the, the best stress reliever is to fight. So I will often before I go to bed go and punch the bag, punch and kick the bag and it might only be for 10 seconds but I want to de-stress so that my body's really tired so I can go to sleep. And then I want to wake up when my body wakes up. And is it possible, again, that the hormonal system will take over in that, in that case? So if you go to sleep when you're tired, sometimes I wake up after three hours, I'm full of energy and off I go. Sometimes I wake up after seven or eight hours and I'm full of energy and off I go. But I like to wake up when my body wakes me up, not when an alarm wakes me up. And that's, again, why I love it. 
that I can choose my own hours and I can invest time in my body first and I share that without being selfish because how can I look after other people? If you're a parent, a teacher, a coach, a boss, a leader and you're responsible for the well-being of other people, how can you possibly look after other people if you're not looking after yourself? If you're tired, if you're stressed, if you're unhealthy, if you're weak, if you're frail, if your brain's not working properly, how can you possibly look after other people? So that's why I think it's really important to look after you first. And the four questions again that I always ask, and if, if they aren't working, then you have to change something. Do you have a stack of energy? Are you performing at your best? Do you love the way you look in the mirror and the way your body feels to touch? And that's really important sometimes for people's mental health. A lot of people love their day and they look in the mirror or weigh themselves, God forbid, and then hate their day. Let's not let that affect any part of our life. And then uh, are you getting the results that you want? And if you're not full of energy and you're not performing at your best and you don't love what you see in the mirror, then maybe you need to make some changes. But here's the beautiful thing in the overall package which makes it all very simple. When you're really fit and when you're really strong, you're more likely to be healthy. When you're really healthy, your endocrine system is healthy, your hormonal system is healthy, which is designed simply to keep you alive, to thrive so you can reproduce. And I always say that because it's a simple process. Your hormonal system will stop you from dying, will do everything to keep you alive and everything to make you feel good so you feel like reproducing. If you feel tired, if you've got a headache, if you feel sick, if you're stressed, if you're angry, if you're emotional, very unlikely that you want to reproduce so the human race doesn't go on. So that beautiful endocrine system will say, Rowie, you're tired, go to sleep. Rowie, wake up, you feel fantastic now. Everything's recovered, everything's regenerated, your brain's ready to go again. Wake up, let's go. Now, if you don't have the pleasure, and I wish for, the, for you that you do, but if you have the honour and pleasure of being able to choose your own hours and not having to live by an alarm clock, awesome. If not, please do everything possible. If you've got to wake up by an alarm, please make sure that you go to bed ready to go to sleep. Get rid of the stress first. Have a beautiful bed to sleep in. Have a beautiful environment to sleep in. So whether it doesn't matter what financial situation you're in, invest in your bedroom. The place that you sleep needs to be somewhere really special. Uh, if you're putting a screen into your life, if you're listening to the radio, if you're arguing with somebody, horrible people in your life, and you try to then go to sleep, very difficult of course so whatever you need to do to go to sleep peacefully whether it's music or positive thoughts or uh, I often if I can't go to sleep I will um, say my goals and in my head I will think about all the great things that have happened to me that day or in my life and I love going to sleep with positive thoughts but what I did find out very and I'll share this again very passionately if you get really puffed before you go to bed you get rid of all the stress so it's very easy to go to sleep and there's nothing more more awesome than going peacefully to sleep and waking up refreshed isn't that just amazing the time of the day that you sleep surely that depends on what's happening in your life now I'm standing here right now in the middle of the day people say you shouldn't sleep in the middle of the day but if you're tired your hormonal system will tell you go have a snooze you're tired you need to have a sleep my husband right now is in Russia he's he I'm up he's He's going to bed because it's the other side of the world so if you travel if you're in, involved in any kind of international travel you can't really control what's going on because the Sun comes up the Sun goes down it's all always different if you've got a positive headspace if you've got a healthy fit strong body and you want to have a life that you love you are much more likely to be able to adapt I always talk about uh, why I never have jet lag because when I arrive somewhere I just treat Wherever I am in the world, I treat it, okay, it's morning, let's, let's go. It's evening, let's go to bed. Listen to your body and it will tell you what you need to do. You, you will handle jet lag so much better if you're healthy, fit and strong because you don't have it. You just go, okay, I've got a positive attitude, I've got a healthy, fit, strong body, let's go live life. My husband, who is a martial artist who travels all over the world to fight, he can't afford to get jet lag. A 40-hour trip to Russia, and then he's going to fight, uh, make weight and then fight, and then a 40-hour trip back, and then he becomes a businessman again and he becomes a martial arts coach again. There is, there's no room there for jet lag and tired and stress. But again, if you look after your body, if you're healthy, fit and strong, it will look after you. So look after your body, super duper do. How are you living my life to the max? Because I'm healthy, fit and strong. How about you? Get healthy. Woohoo!